Hello and welcome back. I'm DMAC, and today I'm going to be looking at picking this crusty little uh, rim cylinder. I say crusty, but I think we're supposed to say that it's got a lovely patina. So, um, yeah, it's certainly got a lot of uh, patina on it, and uh, yeah, the key's got a lot of patina on it too, isn't it? Um, I got this a couple of days ago in a bunch of used uh, Euros and uh, rim cylinders. Um, it kind of felt a bit weird when I picked it, so um, I thought we'll pick it and gut it and have a look at what pins are inside it. I think I suspect I know what's in there. And I'm going to pick it with uh, this custom lock pick I've just finished working on. Um, so yeah, this is like a little short hook, nice and shiny. And um, we've got this swanky acrylic handle, so yeah, it's got like a metallic flake and yellow and orange and red going on in there. Yeah, quite nice, quite comfy. So let's give him a little uh, go picking this rim cylinder. Um, let's get him in there somehow like that. Get the top of the keyway. Been using this one quite a lot recently, which is um, I think it was like a it came in a cheapo set. Top it was like a bottom of the keyway, but I um yeah just cut the end off and thinned it out a little bit, and it works so well as a top of the keyway that it's kind of one of my favourites. Uh, shall I zoom you in? Yeah, let's zoom right in. Something like that. I think these Yao rim cylinders are the reason that I pick uh, pins up. Just thought it's worth mentioning. Um, in England, where I am quite often, um, uh, the Euros are installed pins down. Um, so a lot of uh, Euro pickers pick them pins down, and I always picked them pins up. And I, you know, I get told off by locksmiths on the Facebook group. Um, anyway, I, I pick them the way I want to pick them. Um, but I think the reason I do pick uh, most of the pin tumblers with pins up is because when I was a kid, we had one of these on the front door. And so for me, um, I always see that keyway as correct and the pins being up. So I think that's where it comes from anyway. Uh, okay. Get him in there. Heavy tension. Feel for a binder. That's two. I've got a click. Oh, no, there we go. I thought I'd overset then. You get a kind of dull click when you're overset, but he seemed to set in the end. Four and we've got a full set there. I think that's think one bind in there. Let's try him. Yeah. So you see that nice counter rotation. Um, so it's not too weird. There we go. Nice little click there. So it kind of feels like a spool, but I think they're mushrooms in this lock. I think with the, with, with the spools, you get a full set and then you, you find that pin and you set it. Um, and it, you know you drop back out of the full set or back into it, um, but I think with mushrooms as you pick them, um, you just get a lot of kind of counter rotation on the tension wrench, and they just kind of feel a little bit weird compared to spools. But I do quite enjoy picking them because um, they can be very uh, talkative, um, a bit like me today. Uh, I probably should concentrate on picking though. I think I'm close, right? One, two, three, four. I think it's five. Yeah, counter rotation on five. Same quite high. Don't want to drop anything else. There we go. And we set him. We got him open. Zoom you back out there. So let's see uh, what crustiness we've got inside. And uh, just confirm that we've got those mushroom pins in there. Um, so let's get some gutting stuff down. So this, oh, I've got the key for this, haven't I? Yeah. This has got uh, one of those weird little towel pieces. That's the towel piece that's snapped off. But you've got one of these weird little clips that are a pain in the ass to get off. And you kind of need to pinch it together, pinch it together and, and push it that way and it kind of slides out. <laughs> I think the first one of these that I came across um, I've not seen anyone do one on a video. I'm sure people have, but I just hadn't seen it. Um, and I, it took me hours to get it off to kind of figure out how to do it. There we go. He's through. There we go. Dump that bit down. And do we need a shim? No, we should be fine. 
I mean, after all, what is the worst that could happen, hey? Eh? Okay, five pins there, nice deep sets, nothing to write home about in there. And I imagine these are just going to be standards. Come on. Although saying that, they kind of look, let's get that in there. Uh, tweezers. Yeah, they are tapered. You can just see just on the end there, they are tapered. I'm not sure that really made much of a difference to me picking it. Yeah, it's tapered. I think that means you can overset them um, a bit easier, or they take a couple of taps to kind of get them to set to the shear line. All right, let's see what we got up top. Oh, it looks like a spool. Oh no, yeah, it is a mushroom pin. It's quite a sort of long mushroom pin. Yeah, they just feel weird as you sort of push them past the shear line uh, because of that taper. They just kind of feel a bit more spongy than normal spools. I didn't see which way that came out of there. I think it's that way. Um, but I, I really like picking them. They kind of give uh, quite distinct feedback. Uh, standard in two, mushy shroom in three. Go to the back. Mushroom in five, that's the last pin we set. And a standard in four. Let's just have a quick peek at that. There we go. Yeah, so we've got all like tapered, I think they're tapered on the bottom. Um, and three mushrooms at the top. Nice little lock to pick that. Oh, dropped a pin, there he is. Don't lose him. Uh, yeah, so a uh, nice little rim cylinder that. And, um, oh, losing all the springs there. And uh, yeah, lots of fun to pick. Um, thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.